Professor Gavin Giovanni at the Bart's MS Center in London wrote about COVID-19 and using disease-modifying therapies. Drug by drug, he weighs the risks and benefits of stopping or delaying a particular treatment due to COVID-19. And I'm going to take you through some of the ins and outs of that right now. What's going on, y'all? I'm Damien. I was diagnosed with MS a few years ago and have been making content about the disease ever since. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about MS while laughing and gaining a sense of community, start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any updates. In these days of love and coronavirus, many people with multiple sclerosis are concerned about whether their MS disease modifying therapy will put them at a greater risk of complications if they happen to catch the COVID. Well, let us hope that you have already been able to speak to your doctor about your specific DMT and COVID-19 risks. But if not, to help your discussion with them, here's a summation of Professor Giovanni's post about this specific thing that might have some useful information for you. Professor Gavin Giovanni, a neurologist specializing in MS at the Bart's MS Center in London, recently wrote about COVID-19, disease-modifying therapies, and weighed the risks and benefits of stopping or delaying an MS treatment due to COVID-19. A link to the article is in the description below, and it's well worth the read. But it digs into the idea that we don't know how long this thing is going to go on. And guidelines can give advice about how to manage things in the short term, but not necessarily in the intermediate or the long term. And even if we flatten the curve of this epidemic, this COVID-19 infection might be with us for some months, potentially years. So do we stop using our disease-modifying therapies during these months and potentially years? Well, it's all about risk, baby. And it's a sliding scale from very low risk to high risk. First up, your very low risk DMTs. Betaferon, Avinex, Rebif, Plegrity, Copaxone, and Obagio. These moderate efficacy drugs modulate the immune system, not suppress it, and all of them except for Copaxone have some sort of antiviral properties, which might actually be beneficial in the case of COVID-19. Well, Wanda's never cease. You mean this crippling central nervous system disease is potentially advantageous during the times of this global pandemic? How about that? Next step up in the low risk category are a couple of immune suppressant drugs, Tecfidera and Tisabrit. They are moderate high to very high efficacy drugs and they get a yeah, it's probably safe to continue this treatment, but they each have their own caveats. With Tecfidera, sometimes it messes with your white blood cell count and that could not be cool if you're also happy to be dealing with a COVID-19 infection. You're gonna need all the white blood cells you can muster, friend. With Tisabri, it's a very high efficacy medicine, but it might mess with the gut in a way that may promote more viral shedding and make it more tough to clear from the central nervous system overall. I'm researching this thing so much that whenever I read the term viral shedding, now I think about ASAP Science's rendering of viral shedding and picture an MS drug just letting that happen. And I'm like, oh, you supposed to be on my side, Tisabri. How you gonna do me like that, son? At the intermediate level of risk are the MODs and the MABs. These meds are all high or very high efficacy, whether they deplete your B or T cells or mess around with your lymph nodes as it's doing this thing and helping your MS. If you do get the virus, yeah, you will have a longer period of viral shedding. Depending on the timing of your dosing, yeah, you might want to reschedule that dog. This COVID is shedding everywhere, baby. Last but not least, your very high efficacy therapies, Novotrone, Lemtrada, and HSCT. These all crush the immune system in their various ways. And during that immune depletion phase, the lowered immune system might result in prolonged viral shedding. Mm. Mm. Mm, that is getting everywhere. Yeah, it's advised that it is not safe to start and your dosing should be suspended. <sighs> I've seen a lot of questions out here concerning DMT use in COVID-19. Depending on the med strength and when you take it, they're all factors that affect that decision. Hopefully this video helped clear up some questions and will help you talk to your doctor about remaining well in the middle of this pandemic. Okay, bye! <laughs>